with everybody. So we'll be there. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I can't even say Pam number. Omagyana Timrandasya Gyanam Gyanam Salakya Chaksura Murika Omayana Tasmaya Sri Guru Veda Maha Vancha Kaupata Rupya Shakti Pasena Vyeva Kya Patitanam Pavane Kyo Vaishna Vekyo Namona Maha Sri Guru Dev has requested me how we started our journey and how we came here. I'd like to explain how in 1965, Srila Esri Bhakti Swami Maharaj came to Western countries. And many of us were completely unfamiliar with Bhakti, what to speak of pure Bhakti. We had some idea what religion is. We have heard about yoga. But only when Krishna's pure devotee came to Western countries, we all became so enthusiastic to be, live with the devotees and practice Bhakti Yoga. Now how did that happen? Maybe some of you are familiar, but before Srila Prabhupada, as we all know him, came to Western countries, he was in the association of his godbrothers and his all family members in Gaudiamat. He spent a considerable amount of time in Kesafiji Gaudiamat, in Mathura, and especially on the request and inspiration of Srila Narayan Maras and his Gurudev, the godbrother of Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Prakyan Keshava Maras. Srila Prabhupada was inspired to take up the order of sannyas and come to the Western countries, start actively preaching. At that time, um, we may have read in some book, I have read at least in one book, that Srila Prabhupada was somewhere in India, Jansi, and he wanted to train up some Indian brahmacharis to take with him to the West, and in this way make a very good impression upon the Western public. But due to some reason or another, the brahmacharis were not interested the, the Indian devotees to join him so he ended up coming just by himself all alone on the steamboat to America suffering tremendous hardships and by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sisi Radha Krishna he was able to implant the seed of bhakti in the hearts of so many devotees and all became enthusiastic and happy in Krishna consciousness so many books were printed, translated, very valuable instructions were there in those books. And the devotees were very eager to take up the process. Then, however, Srila Prabhupada left us. He went back to the spiritual world to join his Gurudev and his worshipable master. And after that, it was very hard for the devotees to continue their spiritual practices due to lack of advanced association. Now, three years ago, Srila Narayan Maharaj has started to, on the invitation of Srila Swami Maharaj, he has come to the Western countries and started to, again, introduce pure Krishna consciousness. Srila Swami Maharaj, as I, um, Srila Prabhupada, we may also call him Srila Swami Maharaj, but most familiar is Srila Prabhupada. He came to the West and he invited Srila Gurudev to please join him, help him to preach Krishna consciousness. At that time, Srila Gurudev was not able to come due to so many services which he had to uh, engage in on behalf of his spiritual master. But now, in 1996, he 
had the opportunity to come to the Western countries and he did not come alone. He came with some Indian brahmacharis. Yeah? Prabhupada wanted to come with the Indian brahmacharis, but he came alone. So Srila Gurudev came with some Indian brahmacharis who are with us here today and it was a very successful preaching tour in 1996. We started in Europe, America, visiting all the places where Srila Prabhupada had started Krishna Consciousness, New York, Tonkin Square Park, Los Angeles, London, all the places where Prabhupada was so successful, we visited them in order to take the dust, the holy dust of Srila Prabhupada's feet and in order to assist him in his mission to help the Western countries to adopt, to embrace pure bhakti especially the followers of Srila Prabhupada. Now, 1996, after that tour, Srila Gurudev said, maybe I should not travel anymore. <laughs> I have done enough, I have given them inspiration. I rather stay in Vrindavan and practice my bhajan and preach and help the devotees who are sincerely interested in bhajan. But, after some time, the devotees in Western countries became Again, eager, Invita inv invitations came, please come back again, we will manage everything, we will arrange everything. So Gurudev, being so kind and also always expressing his desire that he will assist, he will carry out the instructions of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada had requested him at the last days of his presence in this world that please help my followers. Yeah. They need so much help. I know that you can help them. Please help them. So Srila Gurudev expresses again and again that he will carry out this instruction as long as he will be able to do that in this physical world. So we are very fortunate that Srila Gurudev is continue to travel. Yeah, this is the third time we are traveling all over the world and new and new places we are visiting. Just now we came from Honolulu and the devotees there were very, very inspired. Although there were few devotees, but they were so inspired. Brindavan was there, some very senior devotees, Gaur Govinda Prabhu, Brindavan Prabhu, some ladies who were very inspired. Actually, they said that there is a management team of the ISKCON temple there and all the management team had come to see Srila Gurudev yesterday, Aye. except for one. And they all were very inspired yeah, by the association of Srila Gurudev. Before, just before that we came from California, from <coughs> we visited San Francisco, Los Angeles, Badger, New Braja, and in New Braja it was the top most place of uh, associating with the devotees. It was like a real family atmosphere and such nice harikata and such warm affectionate dealings amongst the devotees. Srila Gurudev was speaking there from Manashika and also from Tent Kanto. Yeah? Before we arrived in Badger, Srila Gurudev had been preparing us with so many good instructions on Bhakti Tattva Vivek, also on all the different cantos in Srimad Bhagavatam. So in Badger certainly we had such a nice experience being with all the devotees. Also along our tour, this time in Europe, in America, Washington, we have met such nice devotees, especially in Los Angeles. We met many devotees who had been in Gurukul for their whole life almost. And they were so eager to meet with Gurudev and to such an extent that they some of them had taken initiation even from Gurudev and they become inspired to help and organize the preaching as Srila Prabhupada wanted it. Mm -hmm. So this is what we all hope will happen. Srila Gurudev is not interested to take over ISKCON or to be the Acharya. He only wants to help the devotees to become inspired in pure bhakti. When we were in England 300 devotees were there, all so enthusiastic, in France, everywhere where we went. And that's why we all come here, 
you see from California, England, Australia, India, Birmingham, then Fiji, the Vendernet, Holland. <laughs> Some have flown in from England just to be here today to be with Gurudev. And I can tell you that this welcome which we had today is very, very wonderful. So many happy faces. I can see that you're all very happy here in Maui. And I am convinced that you will be so much more happy after these three, four days that we will be here. And I request you please be with us for these three, four days, hear Harikata, and become happy forever in our Sangha under the guidance and wonderful shelter of Srila Gurudev, who is the perfect representative of our Rupa Nuga Guru Parampara. Thank you very much. Vancha Kaupatru Bhusha. Pipasin Nubi, Vancha Patita Nam Padrekyo, Vaishna Vekyo. Chakchurunumilitangina-tashmai-sivare-na-vancha-kalpata-rubhyasya-tripa-sindhubhyayi-vacha-patitanam-pamanibhyo-vaishnavibhyo-namo-mahabadanyaya-krishna-prema-prad
face of qualified person. At that time he was a penniless person. Very penniless person. Nothing. His children and wife have kept him. Or no use of being, you should go away anywhere. So he came at that time to me. I sat so much. And he took sannyas there in Orkesh of the Gauriya Mantra. I made sacrifice, fire sacrifices and everything, dunder, door coffin, cloths. I gave him tilak and twelve parts of body. And also Kritan was going on and he took initiation on the very day of Vishwaru Khau. You know Vishwaru? Hmm? So, that thing did. And he took sannyas. And after that, he wanted to come to Western countries. He was so expert in English. His holy master had ordered him. And that is why. He came anyhow, anyhow, struggling in so much problems, only problems are problems. He was about to die in navigation India of Sindhya. But anyhow, he was shaped and he began preach, preaching in, uh, where in America, Boston, no, New York, in hippies, and they become happy. So much all hippies. They change their old habits, bad habits, and they help so much that very quickly in whole world he preached, wrote so many translations of Gita, Bhagavatam, and all other authentic books, Chaitanya, Chaitanya. He wrote so many hundreds of books. And very soon, preaching center were established in whole world, very quickly. He used to play in boys, little children. So, being children, and in learned person, like top of learned. So, uh, we have relation since. 1946, he made me first. 1946, no birth of his cone, no any his cone like this, nothing. From then, and I, I was lucky to serve him. In his last days, when he was going to, to his master, holy master forever, and he called me and began to weep, taking my hands in his hands. He requested that, I request you, to forgive me if any offense I have done to you and all God purpose. I told him, requested, oh, you have done nothing wrong. In whole world you have preached Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mission, here and there. And we have done marvelous that anyone has not done in previous time. So we are proud of you. Then he requested me that now I am going to depart from this world. I want that you should help my devotees to whom we are I have brought from various countries. I want that you should help. At that time, I told to all his devotees, like Tamal Krishna Brahmananda at that time, Bhagavan Das, Hansadut, um, Jay Pataka from Australia, Bhava Ananda, and so many. Swamiji told that, oh, come on and let us show Narayan Maharaj. I told 
that you should not think that your Guru Dev is going to die. He will never die. Hmm? So, I want that after you, hmm? you should try to propagate his mission all over the world with being so much uh, energetic. You should not think that way. And carry out his mission. Don't quarrel among yourself. After any great Acharya, his disciples used to quarrel and fight each other only for name, fame, omen and uh, lust and money, money, especially money. <laughs> yes, sir. For the service of Swamiji, he has left so many countries to preach. You can preach his mission all over the world and carry out all these things. Don't quarrel among you. Be liberal. Very honest. Try to be like Trina Dapi Suni Taru Rupi Sahishnu Amani Na And then he told to me, requested. My last request is that with your own hand you should give me my samadhi. Perhaps you know samadhi? Samadhi means like burial, but not that. Samadhi is so. I told that I will carry you, follow our all others. He also told that you should make my last uh, uh, yeah. Separation festival. Separation festival. And I did all. He ordered me to come to Western countries. And his holy master ordered him to come to Western country tend to praise. And he came after how many years? Forty-five years. And I came here by his order, to carry his order, only how many? 20, 20. Only twenty years. <laughs> so I am not so much late. <laughs> <laughs> so we think that we are all Gaur family. In one line, Swamiji had not established a new thing. Same thing as Rupa Goswami has come to propagate the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I know him very well, more than anyone, any devotee I more than. Because I have served so much. And he has written, written me letter that I have, uh, my Guru Dev, Sri Bhakti Siddham Sarsati Goswami Thakur. He used to love and affection. So I am same, my relation with you, same, some sadhish relation with me, with you I know that our relation is so strong, anyone cannot disturb. So only I have come to the islands and countries where he went to propagate the mission of his Guru Dev and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I came only to touch the lotus dust of his lotus feet. I know that. I am so insignificant. What? Insignificant. I have no qualities at all. My English is also lame and blind. <laughs> I cannot express my earthly views. I can express in Hindi and Bengali, but I'm not expert in English. So you can excuse me for this. But try to take my words what I want to tell. So I'm so much happy. And from tomorrow, our classes will be started. I have come only 
टू हेल्प यू तो इनकोरेज आई एम नॉट कम फॉर मनी डोंट थिंक दैट आर और इन बिंदा मना चपाट इज देयर वेन आई विल गो टू एनी डोर आई विल टेल राधे 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 आई विल टेल दैट ओ आई वॉन्ट ओनली हाफ नॉट फूल एंड टू अनदर डोर टू अनदर डोर एंड वन आर टू चपाटी एंड ऑफ फॉर सो आई हैव कम ओनली टू सर और गुरु परम्परा एंड टू कैरी आउट the order of my shiksha guru and my teacher so uh, i can help you that your you should not be be don't think that swami ji has gone try to be so liberal to help each other we are like one family so today i want to take rest and talk maru you so arrange my prabhu what with regard to dar mantra and all you uh, should arrange for my classes kirtan and we will do you in all this go rama Yeah. Classes will begin tomorrow at, at 10 a.m. and also at 5:30 p.m. in the evening. Six o'clock. Yes, half an hour before cure time will begin at 9:30 and at 5:30. Class will be in that all there. The class will be out here. What about that hall? This is in, for the morning. This is temple room for Mangal Arti and Kirtan in the early morning. Okay. What time is Mangal Arti? Six o'clock. Six o'clock in the morning. Yes, sir. Arrange for Mangal Arti and all things like our special day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna. हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे
Shri Shri Gurave Namah Vancha Kalpataru Vyasya Kripasun Gurave Vacha Patitanam Pamanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna ye Krishna Chaitanya namne Gaurat Vishe Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhika Yai Krishna ye Krishna Bhakta Tad Bhakta Yanam Tavai Vashmi Tavai Vashmi Najima Mitvaya Vina Iti Radhe First of all, I'm offering my legs and legs of Dandak Pranam in the Lord Suite of my spiritual master. Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Bhat, Sri Srimad Bhakti Prakyan Krishna and also unto the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Parshishwam Bhakti Vedan Swam <coughs> We have only four or five days. So, I want to explain some essential things so that you can practice properly. And also you should know this sweet pastime of Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If anyone will explain thousands of years or lakhs of years he cannot, he cannot uh, explain so much. Only five days we cannot do so much. But anyhow, we will try to give something. In Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a slope. Sukhda Goswami told to, told to Srila Parikshit Maharaj. When Parikshit Maharaj was going to die, at that time he asked especially two questions that if a man is dying just now, in a moment, then what he should do? And if a man is going to die in a year, two years, four years, ten, ten years, hundred years, thousand years, but he must die, so what they should do? Then Sukadeva Goswami told that if an, anyone is going to die, at once, quickly, very quickly, then he should utter the name of Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead, at once. But if, in, in, in case, if he cannot utter Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, then a tulsi leaf with water, more better if Ganges water, not no hog, but if there is no Tulsi water and Ganges water even, then you should try to give the nectar of Hare Krishna in his ear. Quickly, in a moment, in a second, he will be liberated from all the sufferings of life, but chain of, repeated chain of birth and life, suffering, sorrow, all the problems, quickly, have you faith? 
Oh, yes. So you have all faith in Harinam? You should have faith. And quickly he was done. He did so. And if there is some much more time, then chant name and listen Hari Katha. Very sweet pastimes of Krishna. Why? If a man is going to die at once, quickly, in a moment, he had no time to hear the pastimes of Krishna. Then by hearing or by chanting Krishna name, at once he will be liberated. But Krishna Premi will not come. No? Very quickly, in a moment, only hearing. He can be liberated, he can go across suffering, sorrows and so many things. But he will not have what thing? Rajaprem or Krishna. So he will have to come in next birth and to hear very past, beautiful, safe, strong pastimes of Krishna. And then he will be liberated also and also having so, such a high class of love and affection. We are not chanting name only for liberation. In world we have so much miseries and so much problems. So one month about hundred percent persons want this, that we should be liberated and we should have. But by her name, very quickly we can be liberated. But not love and affection will come. We have love and affection in our soul. But now it is covered with maya, illusory maya. Your illusory maya, you know, this word, illusory maya. <coughs> Our soul has been covered. By constitutional form, we are servant of Krishna. Oh, maybe mere servant or mere servant. Anyhow, but we are not realizing all this. And in our soul, by constitution, we have love and affection. When our soul is covered with maya, our love and affection, pure, has also been covered. Though it is covered, but some on a big kriti. Perverted. Perverted. What? Love. Love. In the shape of world, worldly lust, attachment is everywhere in all souls. But it is not real friend, not real love and affection. When our real love and affection will will develop and come and when maya will go and there will be no covering of maya, then pure love and affection for Krishna, supreme personality of God. Because love and affection is the app is the what? embodiment. Embodiment of Krishna. And also our our also so. So if a man wants to become happy forever, he should love Krishna, he should chant Krishna. Otherwise, anyhow a man cannot be happy. So once Krishna was sitting anywhere in Dwarka, on the bank of sea, ocean. 
and he was thinking in very grave way. He thought that I have completed my pastimes in a Braja, in Mathura, in Dwarka. And I have established dharma also, religion, for which I descended. Everything has been now completed. Anyhow, strictly I should give up this place and I should go to my real abode, Golo Vrindavan, with my all associates. But he wanted that Uddha should be to this world to propagate my mission. So Uddha became so unhappy and he went to Krishna. I don't want to live alone in this world, I want to be with you. If you are in this world, I want to serve you in this world. And if you are one, you want to go to Golok Vrindavan, I want to go there and to serve you. Without you, I am lifeless. My, I am like Jeeva. Krishna told that. I am giving you something. This this teachings, teachings, and you should follow. And this message should be given to all the persons, especially Kali Yuga is coming. All will be so much absorbed in sense gratification. All will take wine. They will. Take freshes, beefs, so much wine, always Intoxication. intoxications, and also lust. And they will be always suffering and problems. Animal will not be happy, all quarreling, not only from hands, from atom bombs, nitrogen, and so many bumps. So I want that you should be here and after some time you may come. He told that Lapdha Sudur Labham Idam Bhau Sambhavan Manishyam Arthadam Anityam Api Hathira Turnam Jatetana Patet Anumitya Yavat Nishesha Visha Khalu Sarvatasya very important this law in Srimad Bhagavad. For beginners, it is so powerful and we should try to obey this. Is. And if you are not obeying this slok, then we cannot be happy. So what is this slok? Lakdhar sudur labham vidam. What is the meaning, Prabhu? Lakdhar sudur labham vidam bahum sambhavante that this human form of life, it's Lavasudurva, that it is very, very rare to achieve the human form of life. He had patiently to follow all this. Go on. That we go through so many different species of life, 8,400,000 species of life. But one who is um, very fortunate, then they achieve the human form of life. Manusam Atadam Anitam That it is Atadam. It is rare and it is anicham. It's very, very temporary. That at any moment, then we can live our life. Just like here we see in Maui, very, very nice situation, very comfortable, heavenly. Somewhere like this I've never seen in my life. But at any moment, we can just leave. But the trick of Maya is that we um, get sucked into the mood of um, enjoy, enjoying within this material world. And we forget that the real essence of the human form of life is that we should achieve God realization. So it says, That now in the human form of life, that immediately that one should take, um, before one leaves this body, that one should take to the path of self realization. Similar verses there. Why? 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 Because just as Kalad Maharaj, he was speaking to his friends, 
and they said, oh, Prahlad, it is so good that you say to take to self-realization now, but we're young, we have energy, so while we're young we can enjoy. But Prahlad Maharaj says, no, but we do not know when we will die, that we may die at any moment. So while one is young, rather than putting off for tomorrow what one should do today, one should do that today. And what one should do today, one should not wait, one should do it right now. Just like I was just in the hotel, one man said, one should live for the moment. So this verse is saying the same thing. So right now, the moment is that we should take to the path of Bhagavad Dharma, self-realization. Because to get this human form, very, and if we lose it, then we don't know what will be the destination. So when one has this opportunity, one should take chance, especially if one has opportunity to associate with devotees then one should always take that opportunity, especially to associate with very high-class devotees. This is really Sadhu Sangha. Then this is the most rare and most important thing. More rare than human form is to get this Sadhu Sangha. So, Shukadeva Goswami is telling that human life we have after Long, long births. And after this, we will, whether we will have this human body or not, no certainty. And only in this form, human form, we can achieve this intelligence <coughs> that we should, should serve. Krishna in any good association. There are crocodiles, fishes, elephants, hogs, pigs, dogs. They cannot be associated. Never. They will not hear all this. Also the persons like dogs and donkeys. They will not hear. Well, the very fortunate person will hear all this and try to follow. And we have been sometimes snakes, donkeys, hawks, pigs in our previous births. Sometimes we have demigods, sometimes angels, sometimes so many things. When this world was created, first we were there, and so much, much jokes and everything has been gone, 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 and we are same here. So if we will lose this time again for long, long time, lakhs and lakhs births, impossible. So be very, he is telling that, Jatet na patet anumit tu javat. There no certainty then when we will die. It may be some time, it may be that just we are sitting and heart fell. Then, so very quickly, don't wait for tomorrow. What you want to do tomorrow, today. And what you want to do today, you should just today, just now. We are saying that we are going in this aeroplane, and at once it may be that quickly we will all this. We cannot come to return, we will not return to say that what happened there. So uh, at once you should try to realize who are you. If you are coming in the process of chanting, hearing Harikatha, and to realize which is Atma, but it is not measured and not completed, even if you die, no harm. Because you think that how we can give up all the enjoyments, sense gratification? Or if you are dying just now, 
you will have in your other births everything, sense gratification, more than this time. If you will be hog, there will be no any rules and regulation. You can have one, not only one wife. At a time you can be hundred and, uh, and thousand of uh, wives and thousand and thousand of kids. And in this life there is a record of in what book? That anyone changed their husbands and wife uh, forty or fifty times. But in that pig and hogs and dogs, in that life, you can change minute, minute, minute everything. No heart. In this human life, you have only one children or two or four, not more than uh, ten or twenty. <laughs> not more than that. You can have at a time two, not more than that. Three, have you heard? Yes. Oh, three. No, no, at a time. Oh. But dogs and six, they can have sixteen and more than that. Seven. Record is seven. At what time? Seven. But dogs and bitch and all other, they can have fifty uh, tortoises at a time. One hundred, one thousand. So we will no, lose no, nothing. Nothing, nothing. So in this human body, try to realize yourself. You are not this body. So everything is there, reserved for us, if you are going again in any part. You can enjoy there, sense, sense gratification. But here, let you chant and remember how we can realize this. So, we can come, you can come with me. Coming in India, no passport and visa is needed. Come only with me, quickly. And we are going to India. Where? In Triveni Prayag. Prayag, you know, where Ganga, Jamuna and Saraswati are waiting together. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from Nilachal, Puri, he has gone to Vrindavan. Always weeping, Ho oh Krishna, Ah oh Krishna, where you are, where you are. Ask him from trees and creepers, and deers also. Oh, Krishna used to, Kanaya used to love you. Where he is now? Where he is now? Without him, I will die yet. So weeping, water coming from eyes like Ganges and Jamunas. Sometimes he used to be faint, rolling down the river. After this, he returned anyhow, and he was at that time on the bank of Ganges, Prayag, and he was returning to Nilachi. And in the meantime, Rup Goswami with his one brother, younger brother, Anupam, he quickly left out, uh, left. Uh, the king's uh, very high class of service, position. He was private secretary of Hussain Shah, king. He was so much rich, but not happy. He wanted that. I should join Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His brother Sanatan, elder brother, also wanted. Anyhow, Rupa Goswami was being so learned, 
having so much affluences, so much power. But quickly he left the kingdom and that service. And he took what he has collected money in a boat and he went to his home. And half of that money he distributed to devotees and brahmins. And again, half of the half, one fourth. that is one fourth, he gave for household affairs because Jeeva Goswami was at that time very little boy. So should, he should be supported and that is why he gave all this money to them. And he kept some money for Sanatana Goswami that he is in jail. Anyhow, by this money, anyhow giving some greed to authorities and he should come out of jail and join Now he has nothing, one pence or farthing in his pocket. If you want to realize all these things, you will have to come in the path of Rupa Goswami. Nothing in pocket because it may be that by money some false ego may come. And then you will rely on that money, not on Krishna, mercy. So this that is not process, but process is what? If anything you have, you should distribute among those who want this and be akinchan and nishkinchan. No any requirement, worldly, nothing. And then come how Rupa Goswami came, Sanatana Goswami came. So giving everything and he went to he was coming to Vrindavan to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But in the way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in prayer and he made in prayer. He heard that a very beautiful young Bengali Jew, Bengali young, very beautiful sannyasi, renounced order, aged about twenty-four. And he sings so much and danced telling Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, and always weeping, weeping, weeping. So lakhs and lakhs of persons always surrounding him. So quickly Rupa Goswami with his brother went to the bank of the Ganges and Yamuna, Triveni, and he saw that law, oh, lakhs and lakhs of devotees are there, and a very beautiful young sannyasi, like Bal sannyasi. Bal sannyasi? Young sannyasi. He is weeping and bitterly crying, O oh Krishna, O oh Krishna. Govinda Dhamo, Dharmar Dhreti, Govinda Dhamo, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare All they are attracted. Rupa Goswami was sitting for very long, very far distance. And he quickly did Dandat Pranam, Sastang Dandat Pranam. And he also began to be. After that, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to the house of Brahmin devotees. And quickly Rupa Goswami went there. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw Rupa Goswami, at once he became so happy and impressed. Oh, Krishna is so merciful. To take you out of 
of the stool, the stool and jewelry. He was so lucky to come. And then Rup Goswami began to pray. And so many slopes. Oh, I am so low, insignificant, so much wretched person. Now I am like a Muslim because I have lost my all Vedic and culture and everything. So I am not like a Hindu now. Don't touch me, otherwise you will be also impure. Prabh Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to tell me that if a Brahmin is there but not chanting and remembering Krishna, he is so wretched and fallen so. But you are chanting and remembering Krishna always. You are not a Muslim or Hindu or anything. You are very near and dear to me. And he impressed me. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mm, Rupa Goswami asked him that uh, I am so wretched, nonsense, you should be merciful and give me some instruction that I can follow and I can serve eternally you. Then he told, began to talk, Oh, the ocean of love and affection is so deep and endless. I am telling only some one drop. I cannot tell all. Only a I can sprinkle a drop of that love and affection. And he began to talk, tell, I'm going to tell the same thing to you. He began to tell that you should think that this body is like a cloth. You are saying it is very beautiful, charming, sweet. But if anyone can take this skin from here only, <laughs> then what? No beauty will be there. If anyone will see in his stomach anywhere, if anyone going to <coughs> open this, then what is there? Only rotten, what? Stool, very bad smelling, what things? <coughs> also nonsense things here. <laughs> and then a beautiful princess, and if you will do like that, and if something white here, anyone cannot marry you. So you are not this body. First you should try to know. You will have to give up. If you are not vacating this, vacating, vacating this, then Jamdut will come, the messenger will come. At once they will kick you out from that, this house. One day you will have to vacate it. So he is telling that we should try to realize this thing. Oh, if I will give, I am giving whole energy to realize these things that I am so then how I will manage my life, maintaining, maintaining my life? Don't be worry, don't worry. In this world, all one's happiness, all one's happiness. No one wants or suffering, and suffering. suffering and suffering. Any of you, you want suffering in life? Anyone? 
We take wine. Why? To forget our troubles, problems. We go to sea, take bath. We marry. We do any job. We murder anyone. Why? Only that, that we will be happy. So everyone wants happy. But it is sure that whether Krishna or God is there or not. But one thing is true. What that? Death is sure. Death is sure. And we are seeing daily, 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 so many, so many. And also, one thing is also true, for sufferings in this life. <coughs> without any labor, without any anti-power, quickly suffering will come, death will come. Now you are so happy and so beautiful, but old ways will come and take all beauties. So it is true. So if you are not doing anything for sufferings, but sufferings are coming, troubles are coming, and we will have to enjoy that. So mm -hmm. if there is happy, happiness, anything, it will come automatic, not doing, not doing any endeavor or labor for that. If sufferings are coming automatic, happiness also will come automatic. So don't be worried for that. Try to uh, chant and remember that, you know, for eternal, you can be happy. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first telling that Kesha grasata bhagasya sraddha kalpitasya cha bhago jiva sabhagi sabhigya sa cha ananta ye We are not this body. We are part and parcel of Supreme Godhead. But now it is covered with maya, illusory maya. And until the Maya is there covering our this soul, we will always be suffering in suffering. So many. But problems there, birth and death, endless, a chain of repeated birth and death will be there. So we are so very fine. If our hair will be divided into lakhs parts and again that one part will be divided into lakhs parts. It is very, it is not possible. But even we can do if by like scientist methods now, it may be, but more fine than that, Atma is so, anyhow, it has been covered with illusory maya. And we are knowing now that we are human body. We are women, we are men, we are male, we are female, we are trees, we are this mountain, we are rivers, we are trees, mm -hmm. creepers, mm -hmm. and we are all happy in that. <coughs> but having so much distance and suffering also. But we are accustomed to be happy. Like to take wine is not good, but we take, we take wine and we fell down in a very dirty train and dogs may come wash our mouths. How? By, by hot water <laughs> coming from there. <laughs> <laughs> and we think that, oh, we are monarch of home. <laughs> but we think that we are happy. Once Indra 
by any his offences to his guru de he became hog or pig pig and here in this world he has so many wives hundreds and thousands of children and he was here and there making merry everywhere sometimes in train sometimes taking so fresh fresh milk <laughs> and happy prama was going anywhere and he saw that ah, indra is in that shape oh indra why you are roaming here and there with so many sufferings taking stools and urines bathing in dirty drains <coughs> oh i am not in i am what i am i am happy with my children and wives no you will have to come to heaven and there is nectar, nectar to take and very beautiful garden nandan kanan there no death no birth nothing always young very beautiful tiny age so you should come oh no never <laughs> i cannot give up my children and wife oh if i go then with all my children and wives and if there is any delicious food like here there always no no there is nothing there is only nectar when he be, did not become ready <coughs> at once he took some water from his commandalu and sprinkled and at once he said, oh i am in so beautiful ha oh. then he told that if you are not going alone that i will do and he began to kill one 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 after another all his childs and he, when he wanted to attack brahma he used to go high go high in the sky so that's all children he killed and after that oh again there are my so many wives, wives. again one one will give 50 50 and then again like that no hurt i don't want to go to bed at once he said killed all his wives and sprinkled water on him with mantra powerful and he are like that i am oh i must go at once i will not delay then brahma to him so we are like all this we are thinking that oh we are very happy in hawaii on the coast of ocean oh beautiful mountains so many fruits so many trees creatures and we are happy but happy for how many minutes you will have to give up you have to look at this hawaii and where you will go no 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 one so चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज टेलिंग टू रूप गोस्वामी इन दिस वर्ल्ड तार मध्य स्थावर जंगम दुई भेद जंगम त्रिजक जले जल चर देर आर न्यूमरस एंडलेस जीवा सोल्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड सो मेनी वी कैन एट काउंट कैन यू काउंट how many uh, we are here how many oh yes not more than 100 <coughs> about 50 55 are like this but if you will take one drop of blood from here and we will see in any powerful glass microscope microscope then we will see that endless numberless so many worms like worms they are all souls grasses all the grasses are so all the trees in trees so many fruits and in fruits so many seeds all has separate 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 of so we can Even in a drop, 
how many souls are there, we cannot count. But they are divided into two. What? Sthavar and jungle. What? Sthavar jungle? Moving and not moving. Moving and not. What is moving? We are moving. Uh, animals can move. Birds can move. They are like that. And one, like, like trees, creepers, mountains, they cannot move. So, two kinds of the souls. And in them, tirja, jalachar, sthalachar, so many kinds of. We have seen that many fishes, once we went to Singapore, Singapore and a museum, Santosa Island, Aquarium. Aquarium, and we saw lakhs and lakhs kinds of fishes. Lakhs and lakhs. Only fishes. For to tell crocodiles, turtles, and Snake. so many. Snakes. Ghoda. Eh? Ghoda means horse. Water horse. Sea horse. Eh? Sea. Sea, horse. sea horses. So many. And in this land, who are moving here and there. Lakhs kinds of bird, lakhs kinds of human. Not human. In this form only one, lakhs and lakhs kinds of humans are in this world. So, in that, we are one of them. In that, the supreme humans, are like those who are following Varnashram Dharma, knowing Vedic culture, having so much mercy to all. They don't eat flesh, don't wine, never toxications and cigarette and all other things. Like, I have not taken any of this in my whole life from birth. So these are somewhat more advanced. advanced. In them, if they are not chanting and remembering, not remembering, their life is useless. So in those who are following Vedic culture, having so much mercy to all, not taking place, and wine and all other things, in them some are like Bhautha, some like Jain. What is Bhautha? World has come from zero and again it will be zero, still he is like zero. Everything is false, nothing, but this is a wrong idea. There are so many Jaina, there are so many others. Some are that they believe in God, but by mouth only, not by their actions. They know that God is everywhere. God means G, generator, O, operator, D, destroyer. But we don't believe, only believe by mouth. He is controller of the whole world. He has created this world. He is nursing this world. And He is so merciful. We tell like, like mouth, but don't believe in that. Otherwise, we have served Him. We don't want the, His mercy. We want that. We can know how to make bum, how to control others, they don't believe that He controls all, then never. So they, they don't believe in that God, only by mouth only. In them, there are so many karmi, sat karmi. Sat karmi, you know? What is sat karmi? People. Doing pious activities. Mode of goodness. Huh? People in mode of goodness. 
by sensitivities and in them ganis are more superior gani means oh i am not this body we are so and by gyan knowledge we can be renounced from this world and liberated and we can become one in god there are so many and in them very rare are krishna bhakta very rare. in krishna bhakta praj bhakta are very rare and in them dasya is very rare in that shakhi is so rare in shakha lakhs and lakhs shaksha one vasalya like jasoda maiya and nand baba very rare and in lakhs and lakhs vasal mod very rare is braj bhav like gopis So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him that this is the object. The love in them in Brajavasi, like Jasoda Maya, more than that in Gopi. The love for Krishna is highest, supreme. This is our object. But how to attain this? Very easy, very easy. But we don't want to follow. so we will explain it in tomorrow class tomorrow go prama hari hari go hari hari go bhakti vedanta narayan maharaj ki jai radhe radhe go vinda go vinda radhe radhe
Yeah. 